In this video, we're going to talk about the unsolved case of Shane Donahue. He was 22 years old when he went missing on March 22, 2010. Shane lived down the road in a duplex from his parents' house. Shane was at his parents' house right before he went missing. He was visiting, and the last words that he said to his mother when he left, Donna Donahue, she heard him say, Love you, Mom. Not long after saying his last words, both his cell phones were turned off and he was never heard from again. The day Shane went missing, he had received around $5,000 for putting in some ceiling tile. A friend of his helped him. His name is Timothy Sean Hickerson. Shane paid Timothy for his help, and Timothy got around $1,000. Shane and Timothy were together the day that Shane ultimately vanished. They were both in a blue box truck. Timothy was the driver. Shane was in the passenger seat riding shotgun. The last known person to ever see Shane was Timothy. Prince William County Police Detective Brian Wing stated, He is a person of interest in this case. Not long after Shane went missing, Timothy broke into a, two local gun stores. He was arrested and had to serve four years in federal prison. This is how Timothy Hickerson got arrested. On April 22, 2010, a month after his friend Donahue went missing, Timothy broke into the Guns and Ammo Warehouse on 10951 Noakesville Road in Noakesville, Virginia. Timothy got away with only one rifle and a suppressor. One month later, on May 29, 2010, he went to the Guns and Ammo and broke in a second time. He broke the back door down to the gun store. He got away with six firearms and silencers. The next day is when he broke into a different gun store and tried to break in to the Virginia Arms Store located on Center Street in Manassas, Virginia. He was seen by two employees that were still inside the store. Timothy ran away, but he was quickly identified since he was a regular at that particular gun store. So the employees knew who he was, and that's when he was arrested. According to the police, Timothy is in talk. So far, there hasn't been any credible leads that could help find Shane Donahue. All there is is really a lot of rumors rolling off the tongue from the locals. Shane Donahue didn't really have a steady full-time job. He just did side jobs to make ends meet. Some say he could have been a low-level drug dealer in the area of Noakesville. The reason why police and others believe this theory is because a few years before Shane vanished, his roommate was arrested by the feds for distributing drugs. Shane not having any serious charges other than just a list of traffic violations, plus being convicted twice, a marijuana possession once in 2006 and the second time in 2009. He doesn't look like the typical criminal that's been in trouble his whole life. So if he wasn't the bad boy, then how did he vanish? Since he disappeared, his phones haven't been used, nor has anybody touched his bank accounts. No contact with his family either. Investigators went through Shane's duplex to see if there was any sign of a murder, like blood spatter, a sign of struggle, the family had paid for a cadaver dogs to try to get a lead by going through local parks, even bodies of water, but there was no hits. The evidence that the police do have right now, there isn't enough evidence to say whether or not Shane Donahue is still alive or if he's just dead. As of right now, we can only hope for the best. His family doesn't believe that Shane is alive. His family thinks it's not like him to up and leave without saying anything or calling his mom. And he ate dinner with his family almost every night. Shane's mom, Donahue, has said, Bubba would never leave me like this. The Donahue family already purchased a barrier plot. That's how certain they are that Shane's not alive anymore. The Donahues are right now offering $5,000 reward for information on Shane's whereabouts. Also, Prince William County Crime Solvers is offering a $1,000 reward. This is still an active case. Detective Brian Wing is still looking into the leads and tips that come in in hopes that eventually we can solve the mystery behind the disappearance of Shane Donahue. If you have any information on where Shane Donahue could be, call 703-670-3700. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, what your theories are. In my opinion, I just feel like Timothy had something to do with it. I mean, he was the last one to talk to him, to see him. And plus, I mean, Shane just got 
five thousand dollars from ceiling tile you know putting that in and then you know timothy helped him he got a thousand dollars of it and not too long after his disappearance he went and robbed two stores of guns you know so i really do feel like timothy had something to do but that's just my opinion you know there's no real evidence saying that you know he did anything because if there was he would be charged you know so let me know what you guys think i'll talk to you guys in the next video